I'm Chase. And I'm Timothy. And this is Customer Service. Good afternoon, my friend. Quando Brando. Hello. Another decision. <laughs> what up? Uh, nothing. Anything going on with you? It's, rain- it's rainy today. Yeah, we're, we're post 4th of July. Yeah. One of the worst holidays there is as Ugh. far as traditions go. I'm not, I don't like grilling out. I don't like the way <laughs> it smells. Don't. I don't like fireworks. I think that's an insane thing to do. Oh, I, 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 I hate and have always hated fireworks, but this year felt like, it felt like tenfold. It felt like everybody got in the memo that this is the last year that that fireworks will ever be available to humans, and it mm-hmm. was just insane. I mean, from... They, they feel it closing in on them. Like they're a, like, fuck, we got, we got maybe, yeah. this might be the last year. <laughs> you know I feel like, I, mean? I feel like the people have just evolved to a place where it's like, you know, we probably shouldn't have just been selling low-grade explosives to people on a day that's basically for drinking. It's ins- It's truly insane. It's insane. I, I got home last night. I live in Longmont now, and my neighborhood is a fireworks neighborhood, I found out, very much so. Even the old retired couple across the street had something on fire in their driveway They're doing last some night. worms on a brick? Bro, I, I don't know what... I. Those are those little charcoal things. Yeah, I love those. Those are actually good. <laughs> those fireworks. are good fireworks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Those if are it cute. was just like little science experiments, yeah, that's then much the little, better. A little than snake, me, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Like, and those. I'm not trying to be some like, you know, grouchy. It's just, it sucks. The ones you do at home suck. Mm-hmm. It, it people get like hurt and things, and we're in like a desert. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's dangerous. We've seen yeah. this as a problem in the past, the, like dude. burning forests down. I like animals too much, much more than humans, to not – like dogs don't the like animals it. Cats don't it. like yep, it. Yep, the yep, animals yep. Out, out in the woods don't like it. Our cat was hiding. Leon, I just, actually, I would say, my dog, he – this might be the first year he noticed them. He generally doesn't react to things oh, like wow, this. I wish. But last night, he wasn't even like – it's not that he was scared. It was just putting him in a frenzy of like, what yeah. the fuck is this? You know what I mean? Like, as you might imagine, my dog Jeff hates this oh, I'm, yeah. <laughs> more than anything else in the, in the world. And it's was just he screen barking all and night. Nothing you do will make him stop. Yeah. Like he will not. The only thing that will make him stop. This is how this is how I eventually got him to stop. I took his old ass and picked him up and put him on the bed. Yep. And then basically had to put my leg over him uh-huh so he'd kind of like stay down uh-huh, uh-huh. not like hard but like no like 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 uh you know yeah more or less like, how, like a, if you were to spoon sure. a person yeah, yeah, you yeah, put yeah, their yeah, arm yeah, over yeah, this is yeah. just the leg over it's like so a security I could, blanket so i could still look at my phone <laughs> yeah <laughs> and that's what i did last night yeah until he eventually they kind of it started raining and it chilled out and tapered off he, yeah uh, he yeah he was he was okay i feel like the rain almost brought more people out in my neighborhood mm-hmm. it Long all of Longmont. I I mean, I, it's a every, lot of energy. Here's what's gonna happen that I'm 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 already mad about is that people that didn't get to shoot off their fireworks because it was raining are gonna do, do it, it tonight. tonight. Yeah, and absolutely. It's, just, and it's like, oh great, another one. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's so stupid. I feel like it was there were fireworks within two houses down to two miles down in every direction. So hopefully they got out of the system. But I just don't get it. I just like I thought I thought. It's just it's some hillbilly. Action. I will say though, I'd almost prefer. I would prefer. Okay, I would prefer to have to see and hear people fucking around with fireworks in their front yard because at least I can get there and understand that that is fun. Lighting stuff on fire and blowing stuff up is fun. There's no doubt. Mm-hmm. I'm just I'm, I'm a little more grown up now, but I think like a fireworks show, like a show where adults go and stuff. Mm-hmm. I think that is the lamest thing in the world. It's just like, I mean, once you've seen one, you've seen them all. They haven't made exactly. that many advancements. They're like, that one's like a heart shape. And I'm like, that's that's what we've, in the 30 years I've been watching these, that's what we've come up with. That's what it is, yeah. I'm, I, 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 and it's like, I've seen people doing the drone shows now, and I'm like, do you need this that bad that we had to find it? We had to make robots. Wait, do what it? is this? Like when they have the drones with the lights on them, oh. and they turn it. And it's like, why do you guys need there to be lights in the sky so bad? Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, unless this, it's aliens, Tom DeLong, I don't care. Yeah, well, I'm pro that. I'm very. pro. In fact, this just distracts from us potentially seeing UFOs, which is my dream to see one. I want uh, to have a guest on the pod that is a UFO expert. 
I'm sure they would be thrilled to talk to us. <laughs> yeah, We're basing actually, yeah, most though. of our information on Mars attacks and Independence Day. <laughs> Going, yeah. all right, so tell me. And that, and that <laughs> doing long greasy I've hair seen. on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's that mostly, I like. This is mostly hats. TikTok information that we talk to each other about and yeah. act like it's facts that yeah, we heard from yeah. the New York Times. Yeah. This is just, but it's just guys on TikTok. Yeah. That's but. the type of science I'm interested in. Love. So yeah. So anyway, so that that's over now. So that's yeah. that's good. We've got that behind us. We have a great podcast today. I thought we were doing a solo, so this is funny that we're now. <laughs> intro. No, I think they will still serve it as the intro. Okay. What if he's pro? Let's move on. <laughs> if, what if we start out his episode? He's like, God, I really I love fireworks. fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like bummed. Yeah. 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 <sighs> well. Well, I already got the questions. Let's keep rolling. Yeah, let's just get to it. <laughs> um, Wait, hold on. I was going to tell you. My mom dated a guy when I was young <laughs> who, uh, <laughs> who was missing. This a is f- why it can't be the intro. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, was, go ahead. he was missing a finger from fucking around fireworks. <laughs> the, the way I remember it being told me, him and his brother were fucking around fireworks down by the lake and blew his finger off. My grandpa, I think I might be mistaken on this, but from what I remember, he lost his thumb like three total times. Wait, what? Misfired a gun once uh-huh. into his finger. Crazy. And then blew it off and then cut the other one off with like, you know, the stuff, the like oil water that they cut like granite with. Oh, it's like highly pressurized. Yeah. Like, and just chopped it off there. I, for some reason, I think the other one might have been like the, you know, like a table saw and just situation. Same thumb? One of them had to, I mean, just <laughs> yeah. the, the, the I mean, math. One yeah. of them had a, saw a repeat, yeah. yeah. So I am, I think that was the deal. Maybe it was only twice, but both of them had damage to them, yeah. and they yeah. were very yeah. short and stubby. Yeah. Yeah, which is cool. Yeah. I mean, no, I think it's cool. Yeah. I. That is <laughs> the idea that you would miss a finger because of a firework. That's too much. Like you lose one, you're saying. Yeah. Because you're playing I a game. I would never tell someone that that's how it happened. Yeah, we did a lot of fireworking. Yeah, I was as gonna kids, say, though. did you? Did, I mean, we're we're still on the fireworks. <laughs> Can't get off. <laughs> it's too stuck on it. You, uh, I was gonna say, like, like I said, like, there's no doubt it's fun. It's irresponsible, but I'm like, as a kid, it's like, a I really I think loved from, it. I, if I remember from like, you know, from like maybe 12 to 16, mm-hmm. then we got cars, and that's that was that was pretty much the end of fireworks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, oh, it's oh like, you're saying that was the end? Yeah. I didn't, yeah, it didn't come up that much. I mean, here's the thing. Here's what would happen. We'd have fireworks left over from the 4th of July. There was the ones we did with, like, the parents in the driveway, mm-hmm. and you mm-hmm. did them, and then, you know, and then you'd, like, stuff a few M80s in your pants and keep Great. those yeah. for, like, yeah. another time that was more recreational. <laughs> um, mostly what we'd like to do is, like, throw them in water, like M80s, and throw them in water, and they'd blow up. Or we would buy smoke bombs, you know? Yeah. And we'd put them in, like, you know, like the Starbucks Frappuccino bottle? Uh-huh, of course. You'd tie, it, you'd tie yeah, them up, yeah. drop it in there, tie it up as tight as you can, and then throw it out, and then it would explode. Oh, and really? And then glass would go everywhere. The cap would fly yeah, off. Yeah, tight, tight. So we would like to, we'd like to do that. And then, like, you know, when you did it, it was like a smoke bomb because it was just, like, you know, smoke, the pressurized smoke inside would go everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we ruined some yards doing that. Of course. Um, we had a buddy that, uh, speaking of M eighties, is that like, a, uh, yeah, it's like, like the, a mortar It's or just whatever like the little guy that like, but they does the very punch, big, yeah. it doesn't do anything. Like you don't look at it. It's no, just, it just a just big sound. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he had made or had like a ceramic elephant head and we <laughs> blew it up in his front yard and he lived across <laughs> okay. the street from an elementary school. Uh-huh. And I mean, bro, like I'm talking like for real, like eight or nine full seconds until we started hearing ceramic shards coming back down. From the heavens. Wow. It was sick. I mean, like I said, I I get it at a certain... Here's the other problem. This would... Every time we would do this, it would always escalate. It would be like, well, we ran out of fireworks. What else can we do? And then I I have this very vivid (laughs) memory of my friend's older brother just taking like gas from like the thing you like the 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 thing that you'd fill up the mower with yeah and just that 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 wink 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 sound that's just him <laughs> dumping it into a into an old sink he found in yeah. the woods and then just lighting that on fire and it was like this is dangerous at this point it, it makes this it sound is, <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> like this is not now we're just starting fires yeah. this is a different thing bad. and it then it kind of wasn't funny there because it's like these are no longer even entertaining this is just a sink that's on fire <laughs> and <laughs> That's it. You know what I mean? And now it's, it's not just like on fire, yeah. And if you really like dissect that, you're not like you're not listening to music or something while it happens. So it's literally just 
And you know, it's not even making a crackling sound. So you're literally just watching gas on fire. Probably shouldn't be breathing <laughs> yeah, that in. Yeah, yeah. Just four guys just staring at an old <laughs> sink on fire. <laughs> Dead you got your silent. hands in the pockets of your mm-hmm. mesh shorts. I was being like, well, I don't know what we're going to do now. Yeah, we lit this yeah. on fire. Let's, let it, like, let's see what happens. And the, the, the fear was one guy's going to take it to the next level, and then that then we're going to have a problem. <laughs> Yeah, have you? You've told the story about how you, like, almost burnt down a forest, right? Yeah, yeah. You and in told? fact, it started with a fire in a sink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, no. We st- we started. The, the, we tried to stop Why the fire were there with a sink. Sinks places. It's just like a hard thing to dispose. We found it out in the field. Dragged it into our little campsite. Little. I can't fathom <laughs> ever just taking trash and being like, I don't know what to do with this. So I'll just throw it in the in the well, in the woods. Like, how long does it take you to get into the woods? Like to throw a sink. A away. sink. Well, this one was technically across from the uh, the uh, Astrobula branch of Kent State University. Mm-hmm. So it was just a field. There was mm-hmm. a parking lot. It's where I used to play YMCA soccer. I had mm-hmm. baseball and shit in this field, and then it just became a field. In fact, the same field we found the sink in. Me and some buddies went and picked up a free couch off Craigslist, dragged that to the field, sat in it for about ten or fifteen minutes, and then left it there. Mm-hmm. So. I think that's just kind of other people. It was uh, what what we're experiencing is uh, connectedness, and we were all had the same idea in this yeah. field. We just had it was calling to us. Yeah, I'm hesitant to tell this story. Oh, I can't wait <laughs> because I I'm pretty certain. I'm pretty certain my mom knew. I'm my yeah. and I know that my dad new but that was never confirmed so i'm going to confirm i think there's a statute of limitations on this that i've reached that it's okay at this yeah point. yeah when i first got my license day one out <laughs> we <laughs> we took my chevy cavalier to a soccer field at an old school we went to uh-huh. and then just did donuts on the soccer field <laughs> and and literally we we did that like that's the bad part. Uh-huh. But then on the just getting out of the the thing, my car hit this like giant pothole because it wasn't on a road. Yeah. And it like I heard it and it <laughs> made a yeah, really yeah, loud yeah. sound. We drove it back to his house, went to bed. Whoop. Went to bed and um the next morning, it's his dad woke me up and was like, your car is leaking shit everywhere. On the, <laughs> and it was like transmission fluid. Yeah. And my dad had to bring the pressure washer over yeah, and yeah. help me get it off of their thing. And just to be clear, I wasn't doing the pressure washing. My dad was doing it. Just mad at me, w- making me watch him yeah. be mad at me and do it at the yeah. same time. <laughs> and then I think it was probably expensive to fix. I'm not the, remembering. The car, the mm-hmm. transmission. It was yeah. one of the... I mean, I when I look back at things I did, I didn't do that many dumb things. I mean, I I was dumb a lot, but yeah, like yeah. I didn't do that many dumb things. Yeah. This was one of the dumber things yeah. I did as an as a as a. Well, I was gonna say an adult, not an adult. I was sixteen, yeah, but, yeah seventeen, yeah. but. Yeah. No, you do. You do. It's good. I think it's good. I think it's good. You did that. I won't do it again. Yeah. So I learned. You got it out of your system. Day one, and I don't know what. Got into us. I think it was just that, like, <laughs> we could be in any place we wanted to without it being so a problem. So why don't we do it? We got, we drove to that school because I think it was just one of the handful of places we knew where it was. Uh-huh. And then, I don't know, drove, there was nothing stopping us from going <laughs> onto the field. So <laughs> there we went. You could can, can physically get the car there. So who's to yep. say? Yeah, no, I love that. I love that. Yeah. I told you, similar to it, you know, it just so happens it also starts out with a car similar to a Chevy Cavalier. I'm talking a probably 91 Honda Accord. Classic. I think I, I basically learned to drive in that yeah. car. Yeah. I mean, this weighs about as much as a Hot Wheel. Like, we used to. It, it was my friend's car, and me and my buddies at school, we would go out if, if we'd get out there before she got to her car, and we would pick the car up and move it sideways so she couldn't back out of her spot mm-hmm. and, you know, just fun shit like that. But anyway, I wasn't here for this, but a bunch of people were doing, like, they were doing, I don't, I don't really know how to even describe it. They were playing, like, tag with their cars, but, like... <laughs> <laughs> but like, not like not like touching but like you know it's like i'm this on your is, ass and now i'm on your ass this is like the most, thing. I, I can't think of something more dangerous to do in a car <laughs> oh yeah yeah but they so anyway they they were they were down literally you remember how i just told you about the ceramic elephant head there was sure. an elementary school across the street mm-hmm. they were whipping around and one of them whipped into the parking lot of this elementary school that made like kind of a loop and came back out 
Mm-hmm. Long story short, hauling ass through this parking lot, hydroplanes straight into the side <laughs> of the elementary school. <laughs> like, like, and I'm talking, I'm talking like you go to the elementary school today and yeah. you can still see remnants of where they had to rebuild the wall. Apparently a bunch of TVs and shit fell off the wall, but, um, shit. yeah, just good shit. You know, old cars and my being friends, bad. the friend's brother that lit the sink on fire. Yeah. He, uh, he had a like 90 something, like a, a Buick Riviera, which is <laughs> yeah. just a sofa of a car. I I was just gonna say, bro, like literally a couch. And uh, he, uh, he, we thought he, he saw Fast and the Furious, <laughs> and he went, "Cool, mm-hmm. I can do that." <laughs> but he, but we didn't have any money, so we just went to like Walmart at like eleven thirty at yeah. night, and then just bought all those stuff that's like you know that weird like non branded like stuff that's in the car section. Oh yeah, next to where like where you buy. Like car cleaning stuff. Yeah, 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 car cleaning stuff, and also surprisingly, by like the hunting guns and knives. Yeah, yeah. So let me tell you, these are the things that he bought, and I'll tell you in order. <laughs> he he bought a like a hood ornament uh-huh. that was like a panther. Yeah, that was supposed to look like it was chrome, but it was just plastic. Sure, that you just stuck onto your car like a sticker. Yeah. So he's got that. Which when when we got out to the car, we realized it has like a almost like a crease down the center of it. Yeah. So. If you see the car looking at you, it's the, the panther is like cockeyed yeah, <laughs> because yeah, it won't yeah. sit right <laughs> on the hood. So he got that. He got a like the, a thing you put into the the ash the the lighter yes. thing. Yes. That was like a no smoking sign that lit up. <laughs> and when you drove that car, it was bright. bright. It was so bright that it was you. It's like it was it was a it was a hazard. Yeah. Yeah. He got. Uh, like it was like the, the what do you call the tire cover the twisty things uh-huh. for the air? I know what you're saying. You know, the covers yeah. he got ones that were like bullets, yeah. which is like not you know, we weren't like into guns uh-huh. or anything. Uh-huh. It was just and cool. it was just kind of what was available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And two of them lit up so that when you drove, yeah, he couldn't afford he couldn't afford all four, <laughs> so he just got two. <laughs> he put them both on one side. So, like, one side of the car, nothing. Uh-huh. On the other side of the car, just these yeah, stupid it was, things. It was hot, yeah. Um, he got, I think he got pulled over for having them one time, too, because you're not supposed to, oh, I guess. Oh, interesting, yeah. And I feel like there was... I feel like I'm missing something. There was some, like, stickers involved that were just car decals that you could, like, pull yeah. on or off that was, like, yeah. a shark and stupid, you know, <laughs> sure. like, dice on fire or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh... And I think, I think, oh, he got like a steering wheel cover. Yeah, beautiful. Probably had uh, Taz, the, or <laughs> yeah. yeah, Taz the Tasmanian <laughs> Devil. Yeah, that's exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly it. I don't know what it was, but it was something like that. Yeah. I wish my friend could be on this podcast to confirm, because I know I'm missing, I, I feel like I'm missing things. Yeah. But yeah. it looked so, when he got done, he literally like was like, he <laughs> to put on like the, <laughs> the covers on the wheels, he like put out like a, like a towel to lay down on as if he was a mechanic working on the car, but like you just screw him on, you know, and there's nothing to do here. Yeah. And, uh, he's like, all right, boys, come check this out. He's older than us. And we, and I, look, I'm going to be honest with you. We thought it was kind of dumb, but we weren't sure yeah. because we're like, maybe this is cool. Maybe I don't, we don't know. know. Yeah. yeah. And then he like drove us around town, like listening to like, uh, what was that Usher song that was really popular? The mm, er, mm, er. we just listened to that oh. on repeat. Yeah, driving around Indiana with this stupid car that he had like the windows down with like sunglasses that he bought at a gas station and thought we'll meet a girl this way. Like yeah, a girl, yeah, a yeah. group of women will drive up next to us and see him driving around two children. <laughs> 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 with with and hopefully they're on the right side of the car as they're gonna see those wheels uh-huh, spinning uh-huh. <laughs> and uh and and we we weren't sure i remember thinking like it might be cool but and then later on we like made fun of him for it because he then left it on his car for years yeah he, yeah. he got like a real job at like a hospital at one point and that's what he drove up in yeah with all that stuff and on his him. scrubs and dc skate shoes yeah so it was, yeah. So, you know, I don't know how we got on this car talk, but Dude, it's this good. is my level of car it's talk. It's good. The only thing that would make it more twisted is if it was a Dodge Neon. No, it was a white, it was like a Coke I knew white, it was white Buick Riviera. I knew it was white. Yeah. I, I knew. I, yeah. Leather seats yeah. that were ripped. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Yeah. Just us shoved in. I remember, I can, I wish I could recreate the smell because he also had, 
It wasn't black ice, but you know what I'm talking about. No, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to say there was definitely more stuff with dice on it because he had like a lot of stuff with like flaming dice on it, which was like just a genre of thing you could get (laughs) in the early 2000s. You know what I mean? Yeah. So in the the early aughts in in Indiana. Shout out. Amazing. Amazing. I wonder what car he drives now, and I wonder if it's just as (laughs) twisted. (laughs) Um, All right, let's get to some questions here. Or patented 25 minutes on nothing at the front. Um, okay, if you could create one item of clothing from scratch right now, what would it be and why? And then it's, this is in parentheses. What's the perfect thing you're looking for and haven't found? I mean, I've talked to people in Discord about how I've always wanted. I wanted the Alexa Chung barber jacket that she first came out with a long time ago that was the very cropped I was barber say, jacket. We've used this photo. Yes. And it's it's it, it's it's like the sleeves are kind of like yeah. oversized. The body's cropped. Yeah, everything else is pretty normal. Yeah, and I just I wanted I want that. Wait, yeah, I remember it now. It's like a cool drapey. Like it's cropped. Yeah, but falls. Cool. Honestly, the. The the, the Frizzam Works one the is pretty hunting close. Jacket. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't exactly it for me. I don't know what I don't know why I'm being so specific on this. You know what I mean? It, it was, but it was like a thing I've had in my head yeah. for a long time. So definitely that. Do you have any off top? I feel like, yeah. I mean, I need, I'm still looking for like I love my pair of boots. I'm mm. looking for the perfect pair of just plain black fucking leather yeah, shoes. Yeah, I don't dude. know why. Like, why is it impossible to I find? I don't know. I think it's because we both want something new. I want it to be something I haven't seen before, and yeah. like, I don't think shoes evolve that much. No, and I think also I don't want it to be eleven hundred dollars, which I have found a couple that I sure. think are like probably pretty close, but. By the time I get them from Japan and it's... But also the stone cold reality is like, because I've had some of this kind of stuff before, like Bottegas or whatever, or like Prada. They're not super, they're not like everyday shoes. Isn't that weird? So it's like, because they're a little like extreme. Uh And you know, just it's it's, it's kind of the, that can be sometimes a struggle when you buy like a statement piece. Like you love it and that's great and you like look forward to wearing it. Yeah. But you can't like, I I couldn't, I couldn't do two days in that. You know what I mean? You do two days in the Converse, no one gives a shit. But you do that in a pair of like loud ass shoes. I don't know why that feels like yeah off to me. No, I so, feel you. I feel you. But plain black shoes, that, bro. You, I would wear them every day. I don't give a shit. I know, but I'm talking about like something where it's like when you go like designer, it's like chunkier, oh, or it's sure, got like sure. some detail about it that sure. definitely stands out. Yeah, you know what I mean. So that yeah. it kind of and changes also it. a lot of high fashion shit. Like you're, what you're saying is, it's not meant to be worn every day. Yeah. They're not meant to. There is no longevity to these. It's more sure. I mean, it's, it's in a, most it's a fashion, situations. Yeah, yeah, in yeah, most yeah. things, yeah. it's like a high fashion boot from any of these brands. Think any of the names are likely not going to be. They're not going to have as much longevity. Well, I think some of the some of it too is, I think they like a lot of my like higher fashion pieces. I will say have lasted longer, but it's because I don't wear them as much. Yes, you know what I mean. I think yeah. that's that's what it comes down yeah. to. You treat um, them differently. I mean, sometimes it'll, I'll like, if I can find something like plain, like I have like a pair of like those Marnie Chelsea's and those are like just on the border of yeah loud and not loud. Mm-hmm. And, and I've gotten with to the, the point, square. Yeah. Right. And the more I wear them, the more beat up they get. And I kind of like forced myself into it when we went on that New York trip to like wear them a ton and they yeah. got scuffed yeah. and beat up and kind of cracked and they, and they look cool now. And now I don't think about them anymore. Yeah. And it's just sort of like a thing I have. They're holding up fine though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no problem. So, uh, so I don't know. It kind of, it kind of depends. But I will agree that, like, when it comes down to like just having some, it, 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 it I, I don't know why I can't find it. But it's like I want just like a plain brown and a plain black shoe that feels like it's the right thing. So I'm like, I'm kind of good. Mm-hmm. Just and then you're just handled. But th- but we're also kind of playing this game where if I had that, it wouldn't matter. And we both know. No, I'd still just find something else. We would just, there'd be another thing. But But I I want like go-tos that aren't like, you know, Chuck 70s. Sure, sure, sure. I also want, I wear fatigues basically every day. Yeah. I would make a fatigue that is perfect. I feel like I've, I've had all of these ones. Okay, well, let's dissect that again. What, describe to me this perfect one. Like, for instance, I really – what my favorite pair of pants right now is the green or slow collabs. It took me a minute to, like, 
I like the blue mm. ones more and I've gone through, you know, some some days my favorite pair of pants might be an EG fatigue, you know what I mean? But like those those green herringbone orslos are perfect. I think the thing that does it for me is the fabric. I think the fabric is absolutely killer. But I like the color because they're a little more like minty. Than, yep. Yeah. Yep. And not that I would even change all that much. I maybe want it just like a little roomier. I don't know. I don't know. But the fabric for those speaks to me. And but then there's like some details in the EG fatigues. I don't know, man. More than anything, I think I want them just a little bigger. A little bigger in a way that I don't have to cinch the waist super tight like I do with like the Frism Works ones or something. Because I went up a size to XL yeah. in those and I have to cinch the waist. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Like I do think that there is like uh, like I would want to do like a pant. Like a kind of a pretty plain pant mm-hmm. that just was exactly what I'm looking for. And I understand I just asked you to dissect it, so I'm probably going to need to too. I want it to have a higher rise, Mm -hmm. higher than 12 inches. Mm -hmm. Because I just, I like that I can either hike it way up if I want to like tuck in, or I can like let them ride a little bit lower, and that's also a cool look. Yeah. Um, I want them to be heavier in fabric, but I want the fabric to drape well. Yeah. Which I know is a tall order, but that's what I want. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And I want them to come in a lot of colors. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what I really just want. Like, I've always wanted like a nice chocolate brown pant that's not a fucking Dickies. I agree with you. Because uh, I don't want the like sheen of it. And I want like an olive that's that minty mm-hmm, olive mm-hmm. like I talked about. And a uh, black and like an like a like a charcoal kind of color. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty good. If I get like a khaki and a white in there, then I then I then I can throw away all the other pants. I'll just wear those. Yeah. Have you tried any of the new Frismworks pants we've gotten in, by the way? Uh, the only ones I wear right now is what I'm wearing right now, and I have a I, oh, I bought the them, I bought them in every color is the yeah, Hawthorne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we got those OG wide, I think they're just like OG wide pants. I don't or remember trousers I tried or those whatever ones. they are. Those ones are like denim though. Yeah, they're like yeah, a denim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm more thinking in my head a pant, but yeah, those are nice. Those yeah, are like the yeah. fit is really good on those. Yes, yeah, I might try those. And actually, I'm realizing I bought those jeans and I've never worn them. They're just sitting in my closet. The light wash. I forgot about them. Or you, yeah. or you the rigid. Well, light wash. Yeah. We got some love for those, bro. People, people yeah, are those. That's a great. I mean, for the price too, it's yeah. fucking crazy. The, the fit's really good. Yeah. Um. So I think I'd want to do. I mean, a lot of the stuff I want is like really. You know what? I, you know what? Honestly, if I could do anything, I want a like lady whites are great. Like that's like my go to. You know what I mean? Like it's a great undershirt. Mm-hmm. It's a great. I mean, it can it can be worn on its own and everything. But I kind of want like. It's like a, it's like your great like right down the middle shirt. Like if you you need some of those in your wardrobe, mm-hmm, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. But but when it comes to into summer, I want something a little like heavier and boxier. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And I've actually been buying the Frism Works ones and then tailoring them. Interesting to to make it work. Um, you hem them or you take them somewhere. I hem them. Yeah. Well, no, I take them somewhere because you need like a it's jersey. You need yeah, like the, that little like finishing yeah. thing. Um, but uh, that that seems to work, and I've just been like, I wish it wasn't like twenty bucks a pop every single time I want to do something. So then I could I would go and tailor all of my band tees and shit too. Then yeah. But like it's what I hate is like when you go like if if I go to extra large, which I'm for I, like extra, I'll go to fucking double XL. I don't care. I like mm-hmm, it like mm-hmm, baggy mm-hmm. on the shoulders and everything. I just don't want it. I just don't want the length that comes with it. So um, I'll go and chop up the length a little bit on those, and that works pretty well. But I would just kind of make but. Was only those are pretty heavy. I'd probably go something like a little bit lighter for yeah, so I could yeah. have it an everyday version, and then I would make it so that the sleeve wasn't as boxy, so I could wear it like underneath things as well. Are you saying um, the, two, the the two pack ones, or are you saying the ones that are like have like the double rib on the uh, the other ones, the the rib? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. the rib, the rib tee. Yeah. They're sick. Yeah, because I I love the feel of those. Those are, that that's nice and everything. And I and I've been and under like boxier items, it's it's totally fine. I can wear them underneath. It's it's mm-hmm, cool. Mm-hmm. But something like that, like just like a slightly like boxier tee. Yeah, that's just like a plain old. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like I I feel like I I had closed the door on the perfect tee a while ago, and I'm I'm back in it now, still trying to figure it out. Yeah. I I think the honest God truth is I'll never find one that is exactly what I'm looking for. But like I love the lady whites. I love. I love the texture that they get. I pretty much only have the Grindel well, and white. Talk, we've gone high low on this. We, 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 I, I, you got the Costco ones. I got um, yep. a pack of those. And I will say, like, if I'm tucking in, that mm-hmm. they're great. But they're really long. The really it's a long, long tee. I get XL That's a tall and tea. wash and dry. And then they're I mean, perfect bro, for I, me. I but you know, I like twice long. right off the right off the rip. Yeah, hot, yeah, hot. Yeah. But it's just like I mean, and, uh, I I have a long torso, and I I might be conscious of it because I have like. Th- I'm like, it's like a long torso and then shorter legs. Mm -hmm. So I like to make, 
to, I just have to build my proportion a little bit differently with clothes. That's why I like, like a higher rise and then a more crop tee. It makes yeah. kind of evens things out a yeah. little bit. Um, but yeah, I just don't love I, like the length. Like if you wouldn't had in tailored, they're pretty, they're pretty good. The mm-hmm. only thing is like, if I were to change something, I want that fabric that you get on like an older, cheaper band tee. That's almost like a little crispier. Oh, Does that make saying. sense? Yeah. It's, it's almost like a little stiffer in a way that I like because no, as that breaks down, it becomes like perfect. It's my, it's what you're describing is my nails tee. Yeah. And gets, that was like all style year 2011. Yeah. And yeah, it yeah, was yeah. when I got it felt heavy it like almost kept its structure, mm-hmm. but then after washing it, probably literally f- 450 but times. But, but the fabric, because it wasn't nice, isn't dense. No. Which I, I like too, but like for what I'm thinking of, I want it to be that like crispier fabric that's gotten soft. You know what the, I mean? Yeah. That's the best just, fitting it, t-shirt I've like, ever had. Because it lays in a, in a way that I really like. And yeah. if I could get that with a slightly shorter hem, now Money. we're talking, yeah, we're, we're perfect. Yeah. 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 So I would I would like that. Because I'd say most of the time I build everything off of like a a nice like oh and then on the pant I'd want it to be not wide legged but like fuller than straight sure and if I have those two things I build every every like those are the two things I wear especially if we could find this black and brown shoe yeah everything else I build on top of that like I wear cool jackets mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. right or sweaters or things like that so I'm building everything on top of those things so if I've got that covered then I just go that's the only thing that I got stacks of pants stacks yeah, of tees yeah pretty much white and black and I'm good and now we're good like yeah. now I can now I can just play around in the wardrobe yeah yeah, yeah. especially if those, those that shoe situation's covered I yeah maybe those are legacy. Derbies we have coming for fall would be oh, a yeah, good those option. Are nice. Yeah, Th- that's pretty much that's pretty much it. You've Wh- been kind of you, that's more you. You've been looking for like a little bit of a shinier, I, one, which I get. And uh, I've done the Docs Mono, which I really enjoyed, which yeah. is just the all black fourteen sixty one, no yellow stitching, nothing. However, the leather and I don't. I, th- when I say this, I'm not usually this person. To be like the leather is kind of shit, but the leather is trash. Mm-hmm. Like and the ones I had like. Within a month or two of them breaking in, like the leather was like showing weird texture, hmm. like just aw- it was just bad. It, it was just been a bad, piece bad. Of leather too. Yeah. That's also kind of what it sounds which, like. Which which kind kind yeah. of is the case. But then you know I've done multiple docs and they're all in that realm. Yeah, it, it's not a forever shoe. It's made like, in England. I love and, Converse Vans. All that. That's it is not what a forever it is. shoe. No. You're, you're going to get a year, two years out of them, and that's going to be what it is. But I the perfect shoe is those foot. Uh, foot the coacher ones. Remember those black derbies we we found a while ago. And see those those are perfect for you. Yeah, I, I want something a little bit more regular. I don't. It's not regular. It's. I mean, maybe it's regular. I don't know what. It, I don't really know what it is that I'm looking for. Like, I want a very slightly, probably in the the chunkiness of a Doc Martin. No, no more than that. Not nothing like maximalist mm-hmm, or anything mm-hmm. like that. Just no regular chunkier. Yeah. Um, not super heavy though, and I want it to be kind of a matte leather. I want like a dark brown and a black, but I want them more on that matte side of things, Interesting. not shiny. Yeah, I don't want there to be any broguing. I don't want a cap toe. Nothing, just plain yep. old leather. Shoe. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm sure this exists. Yeah, but I'm not excited about. I'm just not excited about any of it. Is the problem? No. I don't know what what it is. It's just yeah. I just and yeah, I just want them, and then that would solve some of my turmoil in the morning because i don't care what i'm wearing i'm down to put on a pair of black derbies with literally anything i do not give a shit if i'm wearing black or not if I'm wearing shorts i don't care i like that see i want like one dark brown because if i have a, like in my head if i have a dark brown and a black and i mostly i mostly wear black shoes like yeah. i think that's my go-to but i would like to have one like dark brown because then i don't have if, if there's like a color palette where it's like well black is not the move here. jarring yeah like today i would rather have a brown this could be the same canvas shoe if it was brown sure. i would be more okay with it in my head sure it's just this is i've got the black because that's really all i have yeah that's what it goes with so also, real fast, you're wearing what are those? Are those authentics what? or eras? I can't remember. I think they're I think they're authentics, and then it's like I don't know. It's got some name the, that the it, canvas ones that it don't just have, the black have the stripe. stripe. It doesn't yeah. have the black stripe around. Why is it somebody at VF Corp down in Denver or, or Vans in Anaheim or wherever the fuck the, the people that pick the materials? Why can we not just get regular colored suede, regular authentics like? I want to go to the I want to go to the authentic or anything they do really the slip on whatever it is yeah. the, slip on's not me but like authentic or like old school or whatever they should have those three and there should be 
15 colors that you can, you know what I mean? Because I, I love I would pay the, a premium I want too. the stripe gone. I don't like the stripe. I don't know what it is. I don't like yeah, it. It's not the end of the world, yeah, but I don't like stripe. it. Um, and they even did ones like this where they were like washed. So mm-hmm. like it would be like a black, but it kind of looked like it was like sun faded. Sure. And they had a blue, like the blue one and it looked sun faded. I'm like, this is great. They were sold out everywhere in like minutes. They haven't re- ever redone them. It sucks. Yeah. And that should just be a, it's always there kind of thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, but I, they come specifically, in brown, I black, don't want, blah, blah, blah. I don't want the canvas. I don't want canvas. Why? Holds my, holds my feet smell. <laughs> I knew as I the said it, said I was it, like, yeah. I know exactly. It why holds my feet smell, bro. Yeah. And mine, I don't, you know what, dude? Holds my feet smell. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a funny. You know what I've been, the last two weeks, bro, I've been running like, not an experiment last week. I've w- gone barefoot in Burks a couple times. Mm-hmm. to work and i've been good bro i think and sometimes you have to break them in for it to like something happens when you break them in that it's better well i i've i have an older pair that i you know i I did the barefoot thing a couple of times and like they're they got really sm- smelly i have a hypothesis mm-hmm. also i'd like to note for our listeners my like college laptop where you set your right hand to like, you know, to like use the mouse pad <laughs> where like your hand comes in contact with the bottom right corner of the, the, the piece of laptop that holds a keyboard, like the, the mm-hmm. base of it, my oils and sweat over years have like corroded the metal and there's like, something coming out of chase. That it's we can't insane figure out what it is. So I think there's, there's a lot at play here. I think I have stinky feet, but I also think that there's some weird chemical makeup, but I have been drinking a lot more water lately. Has it gone away? I don't think I'm less sweaty, but my feet haven't smelled as intensely bad. And are I don't a, notice are you, that are there's... Are you like a smelly guy besides this? Like if you don't... I don't think... I, to be honest with you, I don't think I am. Yeah. I don't think that I'm just terribly... Just, yeah. I don't think I'm terribly stinky. Now, If sure, if, we, if, if I were to go fuck around in the woods or work out, whatever. I, I'm not like... Anyone, yeah, of course. Like I, had, I had a buddy, Ryan, growing up. Him and his dad... Uh, he he was quarter Chinese, quarter Korean. The rest like, just like Ohio white. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I, <laughs> but I, I'm saying yeah. I'm saying this to qualify. Quarter Chinese, quarter cri- qu- Korean. Qu- uh, the rest uh, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Really got a grasp on where this guy's lineage. So is. just so you, but I'm saying this to qualify this, and he would sure. always swear that his Asian genes meant he didn't wear deodorant or smell, and he sweat. But and I mean, this is my buddy, like my my brother. We raised each other. I've never smelled him once, and yeah. we played sports year round. And every every sport you can imagine, we played together year round from fucking third, fourth grade on. And he swore he didn't smell. And his dad also didn't wear deodorant and shit. And they swear it's because of their Asian genetics. They didn't smell. We've they didn't been around smell. each other a lot. And we've we've been like working on stuff. And I've been yeah. like, why are we sitting so close <laughs> yeah. right now? There's yeah. no reason for this. Yeah. And I don't think you're... I would notice. It's because this is something I would notice. Mm-hmm, you, mm-hmm. I mean, you've never smelled. Oh, cool. And I don't... I don't really. No. It's very rare. Every once in a blue moon, you're like, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> yeah. But, but other than that, like... Um, I'm not like a sweaty or stinky person, yeah. but, I, but if I get nervous yeah. doing something, I'm yeah. suddenly covered in sweat. Yeah. It's only like it's anxiety. Yeah. That's yeah. the only thing that causes me to sweat profusely. I, I, what you're touching on is the new girl long running bit where Nick, if he lies, he starts dripping sweat <laughs> yeah. and his shirt is like soaked. Yeah. Um, but no, no. Yeah. That's cool that uh, I don't think I'm particularly smelly. I've never, I don't think you're stinky no, I, either, bro. But like, we all know that there's, there's something coming out of your pores that we can't exactly that, figure that's out what, what I'm trying is. to figure out. It's like out. you're salty, <laughs> salty, but bro, like even just like a couple weeks ago, I w- I would like, you know, fuck around my laptop at my desk and I stood up and the the residue was black. It's a black <laughs> liquid coming out of me, dude. Like it's like we it's like I'm we, sweaty and rubbing my hands in charcoal, and then that is, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. I don't know, dude. But has like, it always been this way? It's always been this way. It's very interesting. I mean, yeah, I've always, I've always, yeah. So I don't know. But anyway, I'm drinking a lot more water, and my feet. I haven't noticed my feet have been smelling bad, which I'm sure whatever. We're talking about my fucking feet a lot, but I don't know. We, I don't even know how we got onto this. Yeah. We got onto this from talking about what canvas clothes vans. we would make. Canvas vans. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, it's a lot of just like I just want my basics covered in this like perfect way, mm-hmm. so that I can focus all my attention onto 
other stuff. And that's yeah. the thing. Sometimes I'll find like the perfect pant. Like I was really running those those giant chinos mm-hmm, forever, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I still love them. That's a really good pant yeah, for me yeah. personally, especially like a way to do a, like a wider fitting pant without it looking like too goofy. Like yeah. it still has got like some exaggeration to it, but nothing crazy. But like they do like three colors. Yeah, and it's like, well, that's not. I can't cover my bases with three colors. That's not enough. So it's like, that's always the thing. There's always some issue. It's either like it's too long and I have to tailor it or they they don't really make that many colors or I don't love the fabric. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. I I would just dial it in for myself personally more than anything else. Or I want the Alexa Chung crop jacket. Yeah, the barbore. Maybe I can just wear a women's double X. (laughs) Shit. It was a long time ago. I don't know. I was going to say, yeah, you're not going to be able to, yeah. Um, Also, that's my dream guest. That's my, let's talk about this for one second. Because we've, we've touched on this. Who, who would be top five dream guests for you on this podcast? Tim Robinson, obviously. We both know Tim Robinson is number one. So we're, going, um, we're really only going top four. Anybody from The Office? Anybody? A- anybody. Jenna Fisher. I feel like we could get somebody that like worked on it. <laughs> I mean, I I mean, uh, Brian Baumgartner, Kevin, he is, uh, I've seen him on like some golfing YouTube channels that I watch. <laughs> And he, like, is really into, like, betting. Like, it's funny that that's, that's a trope they have Kevin's character mm-hmm. play. Is like, they play him as, like, dumb guy, but he's actually so good with money and bets yeah. and, and, like, math and shit. And he really likes to bet. I don't know. He, he would probably be the closest. Um, I, think, I think maybe we get that. He's been on podcasts before. That one guy that uh, he's one of the plop. interns. Yeah. I don't want to talk to close. him. So you think you're not anybody. You're gut specific. I don't like I don't like him because he tries to snake you in on like Pam. The, I don't I really don't. I, I'll tell you this right, I'll put it out there right now. And she's from Fort Wayne. I don't want Pam on. I don't like her. <laughs> and I know I'm responding to her character. Yeah. But I just don't well, like her character. You know, I they have she that tossed podcast. up more problems than anybody else on that show. Oh, hundred percent. She was more problematic. Stirring the shit pot. Yeah. It's getting always, what she wanted, but it wasn't it wasn't good enough. And no. Uh, no it, we don't like Pam as a character. There was always I don't a lot really of drama like Jim around either. Pam. You get in rid particular. of both of them. Yeah. 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 But anybody from the, the main characters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I, I don't need to talk to John Krasinski. No, I don't care. Who am I going to talk to him about? And I, and I really like Rain Wilson. I don't think Rain Wilson would want to talk to us, though. He's too, he's too on his third eye and... We're too dumb. We just want to ask him about the office stuff for a Yeah, we just want to know what, what you yeah. would order at Arby's. Yeah. <laughs> that's sort of our podcast. That's really yeah. Like, um, it's like you like clothes. What, what do you think about what's the yeah. best Arby's menu item? Yeah. Um, I think Alexa Chung is my number two. Padma is my number three. Mm-hmm. Um, one, two, three. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's uh, oh, I know a I know a fun one would be um. Uh, oh, why am I blanking on his name? Jay Maskus from Dinosaur Junior. Oh my god! Just because I feel like it would it literally would, it would break teeth. us. <laughs> it would literally be pulling teeth. Yeah. So I'd like to do that one. Um, and I legitimately love him. It's mm-hmm, just uh, mm-hmm, it's just mm-hmm. I know he'd be a bad interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I also think us in that scenario where we cannot come up, we can't break him. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And that is Trying funny. So hard. Yeah. Um, who else? Who else? We've always wanted, we want to have Kit Keenan from, uh, uh, she was a, <laughs> a not primary member of the bachelorette. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, the bachelor. And, uh, we just liked her. Yeah. Well, I just liked her. Well, you and then you I, know it from the bachelorette. I followed her on her Instagram and then you saw her and was like, I love her too. Yeah. And it's, she, I, I don't want to, I don't want to, I, I think, I think we can eventually do it. If I will this into the world and I don't even know what I'm going to ask her and no one will know who it is. Yeah, no, it's just like a, just no one that we know, no one that was following this yeah. podcast is going to know who it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's like a funny one. Ooh, uh, any of the like OG Bon Appetit squad? Yeah. You know, no, what we, take, had, yeah. we had, we had, we've had two, oh, we've had two Bon Appetit. Maybe it would be fun to have them as a group. If we could get them on, I don't think we're the ones for pot. this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would like to listen to that. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. I don't. I don't want me to do it. Yeah, I don't think. Well, I don't know. Maybe I. Maybe my stakes are just low enough that yeah. it would be interesting. Um, yeah, I, I think those are Vince Vaughn. <laughs> it's fun. Anyone who works with like big animals. Oh yeah, Steve Actually, Irwin, obviously the dream. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, R. R. On, on, yeah. Like I said earlier, somebody that's into UFOs. Somebody oh, that's yeah, yeah, one yeah. of those guys and be mm-hmm. like, hey, buddy, give me the tea. You we know? haven't listed one fashion. Alexa Chung, kind of. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, fashion wise, though. I don't Daiki, know, bro. but he won't do it. He will no. never, he he doesn't like no, talking I would, and does, uh, certainly doesn't like talking. I would just like to have a conversation with him. You know what I mean? But he's a super interesting guy. He just doesn't like doing it. Um, hmm. Other fashion ones. I mean, Ralph Lauren's not going to be a fun interview. I don't think. No, I think there's. I think there's where our sweet spot is. Is we are. It's less about like the career and like. Do we think it'd be a fun conversation? Yeah. You know what I mean, like. Well, and, and like, and we've certainly found plenty of people who we thought were fun conversations in fashion. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, but I mean, just to be clear, I mean, we're being relatively selective. I think at the same time, like, I I want it to be a, an interesting conversation first and foremost, not yeah. just because we carry the brand or because you know what I mean. I want mm-hmm, it to mm-hmm. be. And a lot of the times, sometimes there's language barrier with a lot of the designers that we carry, so I know it'd be tough um, for yeah. them and for us. So uh, that's like a different thing. Um, so that's why I'm not like choosing like designers that we carry so much just because I think we've kind of thought a lot of that through. And we also, just to be clear, I've also like, we have a plan for a lot of mm-hmm, other ones mm-hmm, too. Mm-hmm. So, you know, there's that. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of like, I don't know. I, yeah. I, and again, I just also think that those conversations, depending on who it is, even if I really love them, like, you know, it'd be cool to talk to Raph, but he's also so like in his own I don't, I don't think he'd want to talk. I mean, that's the thing. Like we'd have questions about his stuff and I don't think he'd really want to talk about it. I think a lot of the times if you listen to the podcast, we're not often talking about that person specifically. We're talking about something bigger and just getting their input on it. You know what I mean? So it's like, it doesn't, it, I don't think it's always as relevant who it is or what they've done specifically, more or less like how they think about something. Yeah, sure. So, um, okay. Let's go on to the next question. Uh, Okay, if hypothetically you were to open a second future store and finance and competition was a non-issue, where would you open it? Any state, any country? Hmm. I mean, people have approached us since we started and go, when's the next one? Or when's women's? Or when's this? Or when's that? And we really try to focus on, now we make this very subjective because I, you know, if you listen to our episode with Bob, my business partner, we talk mm-hmm, about a mm-hmm. lot like the best is a moving target and it's it's what it means personally to us, but... If we don't think we're going to be the best at it, I don't want to try it. And I think in a lot of cases so far, it hasn't felt like we could do that. Plus, we have so much to focus on now. It just has not been something that like... Yeah. It, it can be a huge money drain, too, is it's, the other thing that's really tough. Yeah. And getting the right place and location and then having people there that are on the ground that understand... Like, all this is really... It, it's maybe a bit more, like, esoteric, but for a lot of those reasons are the reason that that's not really, like, a current future plan. Yeah. Um, I think but that in a can, dream world... I mean, I don't know. I, I just, you know, we ship a lot to LA, so LA, you know, we have a lot of friends there and stuff. So that could be, mm-hmm, I think that mm-hmm. would be fun if you're just talking about like realistic places. Yeah. Um, I think that I would really like to, I mean, it would obviously be cool to have something in Japan, even though I think we're For sure. maybe less of a novelty there in some ways. I don't mm-hmm. know. Um, I don't know. I kind of I don't know really uh, when I think about it. It's like it's more like personal stuff. Yeah, I was gonna it say it's, yeah. it's all personal based. Like, I think it would be best. I think it would be so cool to have a small store somewhere in the Finger Lakes region of New York. Just kind of to be honest with you, the thing I mean, in I'm like just, a woodsy I just, area. I mean, yeah, it's like you, just, you know, it's like like slow Northern small town California shit. or kind of yeah, shit, like something some store vibe. You're I, I, just like, chilling. Having some canoe club that was maybe like a sort of like really hard distilled version of what we do or yeah, something where it's yeah. like a little bit of a concept and it's maybe smaller and yeah. like very curated and niche. I think that could be kind of fun. Uh-huh. Really my head goes more to like, how do I, I'd rather make a concept. I'd want it to be like, okay, it's canoe club, but we're doing a home store yeah. or it's canoe club, but we're doing a like, it doesn't matter, a music shop or yep. you know, like where it's like, we're still doing it in the same ways that we do things, but we do it with something entirely different. Yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? Which yeah. I know is not really answering the question, but that's that's where my head yeah, goes immediately. Yeah, yeah. It would be fun to open like the same thing, like what we do, our concepts are like how we think about things, but do like probably like a home goods store would be really fun. I think. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Which we have some uh some yeah, fun we're home still like goods doing coming. inside of our own space. But I'm just thinking yeah. if I was like gonna develop a new like space, it's kind of more what yeah, I Yeah, you'd want do. that to be like the general concept. I want to think about ways to like make it super experiential or something. Mm-hmm. Like kind of t- I would want to do something kind of fresh. So I'd want to be someplace that was really open to that. Yeah. Um so probably like realistically New York or LA. Or to be honest with you, in Chicago, just because it's where I came from. So it would be really cool to to go back there and yep. like link up with a lot of people I know there. And yeah. yeah so yeah, that yeah. would be really cool too. Yeah, for me, Chicago, personally. Yeah. yeah. Um like I said, overseas Japan's cool. I don't know, bro. Like, like I also think that like 
Paris has a lot of great shopping, but like I would be, co- I think there's not really something so much like what we do there. So that could be maybe cool, just from the at least from the, the limited shopping experiences sure, I've had there. Sure. But um, and what I know, but I think that would be cool, just because like that's where like Colette's from, who I think is like maybe one of the greatest stores that ever existed. Um, as far as like pushing the envelope mm-hmm, of what a, mm-hmm. a multi-brand retailer could do, so it's kind of the birthplace of that. So that would be kind of interesting. Know, cool okay. to me. Yeah. yeah. A little form. This answers the question, or yeah, not really. yeah. Switzerland. I was gonna say everything that I keep circling on is just like I don't know. I've always thought Finland is kind of cool. It's like I have Finnish heritage, so I've always yeah. thought. But that's strictly it. Yeah, I mean. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the answer is we, we. It's like I want to. I want the, the cool thing about what we're able to do is be here in Boulder, Colorado, and reach as many people as we do in, yeah. in such a broad audience. Being right here, and it's not it has anything to do with the place. It's that it's the internet allows us to do all that. And yeah, that's, it's that's a more exciting like. Un, like uh, like landscape than like what would what a physical store would yeah, be yeah yeah you know I love that too it's just a different thing yeah a different way to think about it but yeah I mean realistically L A I think yeah. would be my answer I mean I think that yeah we're saying that is realistic and would have some sort of yeah payoff and I mean obviously and it's also just like I mean the same reason like younger people move there because you want to have lived there and like so it'd be cool to be new york or la just mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. of have the store the, there yeah provenance they have here. but again like that that alone would come with dozens of hoops to jump through between brands we carry and it's either that or i'd want to be in some like weird little college town like we are kind of now you yeah know what i mean like yeah yeah bloomington athens Asheville, yeah actually yeah athens like seems cool yeah um just any like small little college kind of thing that could be yeah because cool athens is Near Savannah, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've never been to Savannah, but... It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Aspects of it. Yeah. I spent a lot of time there. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Huh. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I think we're kind of running out of time. Let's do a hot take. I don't know that I have one right off the bat here, so let me just look at our little notes here. Th- some of these ones I wrote down we need to go over because, like, they're, like, more... I want to get into like fashion rules at some point. You know what I mean? Like what, like different types of fashion rules and how we think about them. Yeah. That's more of like a question, not really a hot take. Do you got a hot take? I don't, but I can cook one up. Cook one up for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I been less confident in his ability to do something than him looking me dead in the eyes and saying, okay. Okay. <laughs> Tim. Um, shit, man. These are so hard. It's weirdly hard to come up it's with, hard with to hot come takes. Up with a hot take, but we're filled with opinions. Yeah, I mean, I can do it on anything. I just need, it's like hard to make them up in your head sometimes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it also feels like something that like basically the game apples to apples is doing. So it's like, oh, if they could do it, why can't I figure out more? Let's just see if we can pull. I'm, I'm literally gonna. I'm going to this thing. It's like literally a list of hot takes. I'm just gonna land on the first one and we're gonna do it. Um. American road trips are overrated. Why is that so specific to American road trips? Interesting. I fully agree. I hate road trips. I hate it. I hate. I have, and just to be clear, I've qualified myself. I have driven to, I've been from Chicago to Austin, Texas, like 10 times. Mm -hmm. I've been to New York and upstate New York, separate occasions, multiple times. I've gone to California. I've driven, I've driven all over the damn place. Um, and I do not like it. Nope. Uh, yeah. And, and same. I've, I drove here from Ohio to Colorado, drove back. I've, I've done that drive five, six times. Me and Michelle just did it last year. And Michelle loves road trips. So God bless her. But it's uh, crazy. I mean, here's what I want to do. I want to go to somewhere that's two hours away. That's where I want to. That's a I fine think two road hours trip. is the sweet spot. Yep. If if you need to, if you can leave your house with a full tank of gas and get to where you need to go without having to fill up, that's I think that's acceptable. But beyond that, I'm I'm really really so against it. I I think it's the worst thing in the world. It's not. It, it's truthfully, I, I really it, like it, it truthfully, I feel like really takes time. It stresses off my me life. out just to think about. Yeah. We're moving yeah. on. Uh, I'm just <laughs> this. This one sucks. These all this this list sucks. Uh, <laughs> this list sucks. Pop tarts are overrated. Now you're gonna freak the. F- they kind of are overrated. I I agree that when people are like they're like so good. It's like no, they're not. They no, taste like not. they taste like eating cardboard. You eat them because they're you know a dollar twenty nine. They're kind of fun. 
they're they're kind of fun. And but, I don't understand. You put them in a, if you actually do them the right way, which is the only way. I would, I would never. I would. I would. I don't want a raw dog one. Yeah. So if I eat one out of a toaster, all you do is that middle section gets hot as lava, and the outside tastes like it didn't even touch heat, which doesn't make sense because it wasn't a microwave. And it's just it's. I don't like. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I don't like them. Do you remember uh, when we went to Attaboy in New York? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ian, my my dude, Ian yeah. from OG Style Form. He tells a story of I, I want to say it was his grandma or something. Long story short, he was a kid being babysat, and his grandma was freaking out because he was eating his pop tart raw, and she thought that <laughs> he had to cook it <laughs> like it's meat. Yeah, yeah. Like you can't. It's not cooked. I don't. I feel like for the most part, I've never. I've only been served hot ones. Like maybe twice, two or three times. I've only eaten them raw, bro. I, that's not something that even raw. Peaches, pizza is the best. No one thinks that ever. I don't know why we have to keep rehashing this. Um, cheese should be featured in every. What is this? This is this is a silly a silly list of drink. <laughs> Hold on, I like this one because <laughs> I don't understand it, but I like the way they phrased it. Drinks don't need glitter on it. What the hell? Hey, fair enough. Drinks don't need glitter on it. <laughs> That's not a question. <laughs> you know, I know. Yeah, it, it, never mind. Is, it, no one truly likes avocados. What are you talking about? That's so stupid. This is the worst. This These is, are just bad opinions. Yeah. These are, you know what I mean? Oh, this one's fun. Bro culture has led, bro culture, has led to some questionable fashion choices. What do you mean? Uh, I, I'm just, I'm picturing all those meme photos of it's like three bros. They're ripped out of their fucking minds. They're in skin tight pants with little tiny shoes and they have tattoos and are all wearing like really tight Hawaiian shirts. You know what I'm My saying? My whole thing is like bro culture when I actually think about it is dudes in Patagonia shorts and like uh, tees that are from like some place or sport they played forever ago mm-hmm. and then like a backwards hat, which is basically how all you ding dongs listening to this absolutely dress. So yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. So we, uh, as far as I'm concerned, we're into it. Yeah. All you do is wear stuff you wore when you were a kid, basically. And no, then you kind of mix that. it up. I'm so. into that. It's fine. We don't care, bro. I'm into wearing shit that you've had forever. You know. Um bootleg jeans were great. What are you talking what about? What is this? I, I kinda I'm turning into liking it though, because it's so <laughs> it's so It's I, like that fucking drinks no need to have glitter on it. Wendy's has the best social. No, no, we're done now. No, that, we're, yeah. Nah, this is this is this is this is this is this is AI. Nike is the best sports brand. Sports brand. <laughs> I beg to differ. This is brand hot takes. Taco Bell is the best fast food. This is stupid. Taco Bell's good, but it ain't the best fast food. Go ahead, Popeyes. And, yeah, and go ahead. Correct. <laughs> go ahead. Spiders get a bad reputation. No, I kill all spiders, regardless of size, uh, inside, outside. If I can step on them with shoes on, I'm gonna. <laughs> it's basically my daughter's line of thinking. <laughs> which like, be gentle with him. I'm just looking at it. <laughs> Cats make better companions than dogs. Mm. I don't care. S- sloths aren't as cute in real life. We have to be done with this. Yeah. I, I'm too drawn in that I need to read them all now, yeah, but yeah. I but I can't. We're not it's, answering these. When next, one of the next pods, we'll have to go through the uh, unsolved mysteries thing that I sent you. <laughs> no one needs to hear our <laughs> dumb asses trying to decipher things about like historical there, finds that we absolutely know nothing about. Maybe there is a lost library deep in the Amazon. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Here, here's here's what it is. When we look at this stuff, we just believe every Period. single thing. They're, oh, well, all, they're all real. Uh-huh. We never I we never question them. I, I was telling you about one up, yesterday, no and I'm like, oh, fuck, it's fiction. Yeah. He, you know, he told me an entire story. I believed it, uh-huh. like took it as fact. <laughs> and then in, in us trying to look up stuff about yeah. it, we found out it wasn't real. You were looking at me shaking your head like, yeah, oh, yeah, wow, okay. That yeah, seems right. Of, yeah. All right, let's get out of this like weird thing that seems like it's for corporations. All right, and let's wrap this up. Thanks for podding with me. Yeah, buddy, it's been a good one. This is a last minute one. Mm-hmm. Get done. We had another guest cancellation, so we had yeah. to we had to jump right back into action. But that's how it goes. We can do it. All good. We can do it. We had we, a lot of car talk. 
Yeah. We had things to discuss. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I, the amount of times I mentioned Dodge Neon in a week. It's just a very perfect... It's like the only car we know. Yeah. 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 All right. We, we got to get All out right. of here. I'll All see right. you. Bye. We got some more to do. Bye.